And even before this positive ID was made, the family's attorney, Stephen Bertolino, told us Brian's parents are heartbroken. Eight on your side, investigator Masa Saidi continues our team coverage tonight. Well, the attorney tells me that Brian's parents were very upset Wednesday when the remains were discovered. This afternoon, he spoke with me to set the record straight about the timeline and why the family has been silent. According to the family's attorney, Stephen Bertolino, on Wednesday, Chris and Roberta Laundry walked down a path that had been searched many times before. Two Northport police officers following closely behind. Now... Chris started to go off the path into the woods. Uh, at some point, Chris found a white dry bag, uh, which appeared to contain some of Brian's uh, belongings. The discovery made about a mile from the entrance of the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park. Bertolino says around the same time, officers found Brian's backpack near partial human remains. That area of the park was flooded until recently. You know, Chris told me personally the water was at least waist deep off the trail the last time he was on that trail. Brian reportedly never returned after leaving for the park on September 13th. According to Bertolino, the laundries immediately searched for him on the first night and the second and third day. Chris also joined law enforcement at the search site two weeks ago. Some have questioned the family's discovery after a quick search Wednesday. Outside of those days, did the laundries make any other stops at Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park and or the Carlton Reserve, to the best of your knowledge? Not that I know of. Have you ever spoken with Brian? Yes. Can you share anything about that at all, when that was? I can tell you I last spoke to him September 13th. And I spoke to him September 12th. And the attorney would not elaborate any further. According to Mr. Bertolino, the family knows that Brian is deceased. They have no further comment at this time, and they are asking for privacy. And the Tampa Newsroom, Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.